listening to P.O.P. Presents, and I am P.O.P., also known as Walter Ivy. In this episode, I am taking a trip back through time. 2024 me is taking a look at 2021 me. On a quiet gray morning in December, after a brisk walk, I made a decision that will put me on this current path. When I finished my two miles, I had this whisper within that slowly became louder and louder. I remember listening to multiple podcasts about everyone having to start somewhere to just record and upload it. It's never the right time. Time is always now. If not now, then when? For years, I allowed people's criticism of how I spoke to lead me to hide in the shell. Recording my speaking voice and appearing on camera became a fear that was very uncomfortable. What was I afraid of though? I don't know. It's time for me to not only write the words for my soul, I'm ready to speak these words into the frigid cold. I'm ready to use my instrument that I've had since birth. So I set up my camera on my phone, I sat down, and then I stopped overthinking, and then I pressed record. I started talking about what was on my mind and what was in my spirit. My monologue lasted for 19 minutes without any mistakes. I did it all in one take. So what you're about to hear is the unreleased recording that was originally called Introspection and Reflections on this day, in this hour, in this moment of time. A voice was born. Is, uh, it's never it's never the right time you're never ready you know um, I wasn't ready to record this you know um, I constantly have all of these ideas floating in my, in my mind like every day and it's like uh, I get so trapped in the process of creating sometimes I, um, I forget to execute and create and this is basically what I'm doing right now you know just sitting here creating doing this video is creating it's way out of my comfort zone I normally don't create on video um and that sounds oh my god that sounds so cliche but um (laughs) I don't believe I said that but it is what it is uh I just finished um I just came back from my walk, uh, a morning walk where I listened to either um, a podcast or audio book. And um, uh, I was listening to a friend of mine that lives in Greece, um, has a podcast called The Creative Entrepreneur's Podcast. And um, (laughs) the episode was Just Get Started. Just Get Started. It's almost like get started right where you are, because we all has you know we all have to start somewhere. Just get started, you know. And that sounds so simple, but you know I'll speak for myself. I get so trapped in the process of creating, and it gets stuck in my mind, you know. And um, yeah, but uh, we changing that today. We just um. Figured I'd do something spontaneous, off script, have no idea (laughs) what I'm going to say. You know, I have no idea what this video is even going to be about. But sometimes you got to, you got to put yourself out there. Sometimes it it has to be, um, you know, like raw like this, you know, 
you know, I have a, a lot of uh, future episodes of things that I'm working on that I'm going to pretty much, um, you know, everything's going to be organized and I'm going to write the episodes. But I think it's, some, it's, it's cool to be just spontaneous sometimes, you know, it's just like freestyle, you know. You know, everything, you know, everything can't be perfect, you know. Sometimes the perfection is in the imperfections. You know, we all, we all unique. We all, um, we have our own unique stories and we all have our reasons to be in here. But getting back to, um, you know, the podcast and the walk. The name of the podcast was Just Get Started. And, um. Yeah, it's so simple, but it's so powerful. Just get started. You know, that that could that could be the quote to take me and take all of us into 2022. Just get started. You know, we have so many ideas. You know, we have so much passion within. You know, it comes a time you know, well, all of our ideas are seeds, and um, that seeds get that seed gets planted, and the process is the darkness, and you know, um, sometimes that you know, being that seed in the darkness, it it may seem like it take a long time. Sometimes the winter seems long. But eventually the spring has to come, you know. know? Eventually that seed has to burst through that soil. Eventually you have to be born. Um, I was helping my family the other day um, set up their new TV. And, um, you know, everything was working fine and everything. Um, set everything up, you know, nowadays they, they make the setup of TV so user-friendly, you know, a three-year-old can set it up, but we, you know, um, you know, we set the TV up, and, um, you know, I, I left, and, you know, they still were have, having problems, it was, you know, having problems with it coming on or whatever, and, um, um, my mother, she's brilliant, man, she, uh, I mean, she told her husband to unplug it from the power strip and plug it into the wall. And I thought, like, wow, Man, she's brilliant. Plug it into the wall. I'm like, my, like, what you did is you plug your new TV directly into the source. You plug your new TV directly into the source. And now your TV is working and it has power. I thought about that. Wow. Plug into the source. You know, that power strip was the middleman. She plugged directly into the source. You know, and that's what I want to do. I want to plug into the source. I want to plug into my purpose. What is my purpose? I tell you one thing: the year twenty twenty one. I've been finding out. You know, um, a year ago, I started a journey of uh, walking. And um, I had to start somewhere. One day, I just didn't, I didn't even have a plan. I just walked outside and started walking around my neighborhood, just getting fresh air, you know, just getting some exercise, getting some motion. And um, I'm gonna tell you something. It was one of the best decisions that I've ever made in my life. You know, just getting out walking. For one, it, it triggered um, 
you know, walking triggered me to do more exercise, you know, do um, cardio, calisthenics, you know, um, I joined, um, I joined a Nike challenge um, for this year. So, you know, that the Nike app, like, holds me accountable. So every time I walk, um, you know, um, I record myself. And I, I love accountability. I love um, being able to document my progression. So, so when I started walking, you know, it's a lot of things that I learned about myself that I wouldn't have, you know, just staying in the house or being in the studio. I mean, um, going outside and walking, it really opened the door. It opened the door within me. And um, it opened doors to, to things within me that I've never seen before. And I think what happened is um, I was just talking about plugging into the purpose, plugging into your purpose. You know, I plugged into my purpose and I plugged into nature, going out walking, I uploaded myself into the trees and the atmosphere and um, nature downloaded back into me. And, um, and every time I walk, you know, that fresh air goes in my lungs. It just opens me up. It just opens me up to all of the ideas. It's, only, it's like all of the ideas that are trapped in my mind, they get, it's like they get watered and nurtured. They get watered, nurtured, and nourished out here. Like, if I wouldn't have started to walk, like, uh, my writing would be nowhere near it is right now because while I'm walking, I may get a couple articles at a time all kinds of ideas, you know, the articles, other creative projects, revelation, epiphanies, so much, so much gets downloaded into me when I'm walking. It's the best decision in my life. It really was. And, I, and the crazy thing about it, I haven't even gone, I haven't even gone into the house yet. I'm still out here. <laughs> I'm still here. I mean, the, you know, the weather's so nice. I mean, you know, when I started this journey, um, like a year ago, like the weather is exactly like it is now. It's cool, crisp, and cloudy, and it's something about that atmosphere and that weather. I don't know that it, it's, you know. Really, I started. Uh, really, I started walking. Like, uh, when it was raining outside, I love, like, walking in the rain, you know, but, you know, when it's cool, cold, and cloudy, that's another, um, that's, that's another type of weather that I like to walk in, and I'm out here now sitting in it, just, you know, recording this video, uh, but yeah, it's been, um, this has been a very enlightening year. And this has been a very transitional year. It's been a very progressive year. I have a lot to be thankful for. I have a lot to be grateful for. You know, I really do. You know, um, I learned a lot. You know, put a lot of work in, a lot of self-work, I worked on myself a lot, you know, I worked on my body, I worked on my mind, I worked on my spirit, 
and I still have uh, still have a long way to go. Uh, and you know, if this video is all over the place, which really that's who I am, who cares? You know. Sometimes you just gotta get your thoughts out, you know. And I hope I don't uh, get in the house and look at this video and scrap it because I've done that before. I hope I can just uh, really package this up. Just put it out there, man. You know, this could be the beginning of where I'm trying to go. Um, of plugging in. Connecting, connecting to others that that need me. You know, um, I've been I've been listening to others' wisdom podcast and audio books. I've been um, I I've been feeding and getting nourished getting inspired for a couple the last couple of years you know it's been my euphoria but eventually eventually it's gonna be time to give that back everything that I learned everything that I experience it's time to give that back you know it's um that's what we are put on this earth to do you know I received, and now it's time to give, you know, tell my story, uh, you know, I related to the other authors and YouTubers that told their story, um, they got me through a lot of dark days and a lot of dark nights, and, um, but I'm here though, you know, I'm here telling you my story. Uh, it's like we finally made it. We finally made it to this point. Yeah. So what's next? What's next? It's living. You yeah. know? Living, growing, elevating. Going in this, to this new year. Expecting, but staying open because you don't know where life is going to lead you. Yeah, you really don't. And they say God laughs at our plans, and it's true. He really does. You know, some of the best things that's happened to me over the last year. Um, I didn't plan them. They just happen. You know, some of your best opportunities, you're not going to plan. Some of uh, the best wisdom that you get, you're not going to plan it. Your best relationship, you know, your soulmate, you're not going to plan that. You know, you have no idea. You have no idea of the greatness that uh, awaits you. And I know, um, um, you know, the, the thing to say is, um, you know, greatness is lies beyond your comfort zone. And that's true. But, you know, you've heard that enough. I don't need to drill that in your mind anymore. But um, I have found a lot of beautiful things beyond fear. Right before, right beyond fear. You know, I've experienced some of the the most beautiful things beyond just being afraid, being scared. You know, sometimes when being afraid, sometimes that can be the 
you're right on the cusp of greatness. Being afraid. Yeah. Man, we all get afraid. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yeah, it's life. You have fear and then you have faith. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. As I sit here on this introspective morning, Thank you.